For Ghost Gold Magazine, I'm Mark here with John of the Almighty Kandiria. Tell me what you mean to set it in the stove. What that you get to one with no one let you go. Why dive in the How are you, sir? What's up, man? How are you? Thank you for having me. I, I am the happiest kid alive because Kandiri is back and there's a new record coming in October. Does that is that still kind of surreal to you? Um, not surreal. I will not use the word surreal be, simply because uh, we are working really, really hard right now. So we're we're in the thick of it, you yeah. know, and uh, we're just like right now it's all about just game face. You know, um, it was surreal when like the record was being mixed yeah. and being mastered. Now we're it's like fucking game face. Oh my god, the record's done. We're psyched. Now you're in the place like mentally I was. A couple I'm freaking months out back. right now. Fuck yeah, dude. And I, you know, I'm I mean, fucking a, freaking out. I'm freaking out too, but it's different. It's a little bit different. All right. It's more All like right. it's real. Now I'm really freaking out. Yeah, it's actually happening. <laughs> it's happening for real. <laughs> well, why was this the time for you guys after seven years to release your first full length? Do you think? Um, well, uh, a few reasons. Um, first of all, uh, I worked with. Uh, our original drummer Ken Shock and uh, we worked on a 7 inch together and we put two songs out yeah. on it and a, a 7 inch called the Invader 7 inch and uh, we worked on that and that stirred up some interest it was amazing. in the band thank you very yes. much thank you uh, it stirred interest in the band members okay and then we started talking about what we were going to do and Carly started you know discussing things and then I met Brian Slagle from Metal Blade Records. I met him through a mutual friend, Chris Santos, a great friend of mine. And um, after meeting him, I said to my buddy Chris, I said, do you think it would be okay if you like set up a dinner or a meeting for me and and Brian to sit down and discuss, you know, the possibility of working with Candiria? And then me and my bass player, Mike, we sat down with Brian Slagle and um, he, we had a conversation and he loved the idea. And that was really the thing. Our meeting with him and 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 like just getting to know him um, was just such a um, I don't know, man. It it that dude is just so amazing, and he's like a legend in his yeah, own he's right. Done everything. <laughs> and his and his expectations for for what we wanted to do. Because at the time, all we wanted to do was make a record. Yeah, yeah. Um, his expectations were so realistic. He was like, "Look, you guys, you know." You're in your 40s now, whatever. You're a little older now. You don't want to tour, whatever. We'll do something. Like, yeah. he was just so realistic about the whole thing. Um, and then we walked away, and basically, um, my mind frame was like, I want to make a record for that dude. Like, yeah. that's the guy. Yeah. He loves this band, and he's into it. And, like, now I have, like, this, you know, I have this person in my mind that I want that dude to hear the record and just love it and yeah. be blown away by it. And that's not something that happens to me often. I'm Usually, I'm just like, it's really mass. It's like a... It's a real selfish thing with me with music and art. I'm just like, fuck everyone. It's all about me and what I want, <laughs> what I love. Um, but, you know, I mean, it was really inspiring to meet him, like I said, yeah. and the band was inspired by it. And then the final piece of the puzzle was we uh, strong management. Our manage- management team came along and they got involved. And that was it. And then once yeah. we knew we had the right team, we were like, there's no way. We're, we're doing this full on. We're going out. We're going to hit the road. We're going to do the whole thing. Yeah. So. So writing this record, obviously this is a concept record. Mm-hmm. Was that weird for you at first? Were you like on board the whole time or were you still like kind of hesitant or because that was mostly what Carly's <laughs> idea or what? <laughs> I was hesitant because it wasn't, I wasn't against the idea of the concept. I was just, I wasn't exactly, I didn't truly understand the storyline. I mean, yeah. it was a really deep concept and a really intense and deep storyline that Carly wrote and it literally took him a year to write the entire story wow. and until I heard the record it did not hit me and it was like this dude's like I really got to give Carly a lot of credit because he really you know he stuck to his guns he knew it was going to be a difficult sell yeah. um, to just trust him and be like look guys I have this idea and this is what it's about and us really not understand it until all the pieces of the puzzle were there yeah um, but when they when they were when they were in place and you heard the song in, in sequence and you and you got a little bit of a uh, like a background of the story and you heard all the songs together it just it hit me I
Even with this new record, there's the Candiria sound, mm -hmm. but then you always throw in yep. something new, like the song of Pink is mm -hmm. just ridiculous. Oh, well, thank you like, very much. I mean, that song, <laughs> like, thank you that's one much. of the songs I'm just like, how the hell did they pull this off? <laughs> thank you, man. And you did, even like the first single that you released, I mean, the little jazz section in mm -hmm. the middle, you guys continue to evolve even 20 years later. Thank you. Which thank is you. just mind blowing. It's Thanks, just, man. It's just, like for you, just like trying to evolve, to get better, to throw new things, is that still like the mindset? Well, you know what it is? It's two things. I mean, there is, there's a side of us that just love exploring new musical ideas, new, yeah. new ideas. Um, I mean, we're, we're constantly looking for new ways to do something that we have been doing for a very long time. Yeah. Um, and I just did an interview recently, and I described an idea to some to the guy that was, you know, talking. I was like, I hope I'm not boring you. He's like, No, this is really interesting to hear yeah, you talk yeah. about this because I never really thought about it that way. And what I was trying to explain to him was like, it's not that we incorporate different styles of music all the time. It's not like all of a sudden a band turns into a polka band, yeah, yeah. you know, or all of a sudden you're hearing us play like flamenco music. It's that we play metal music inspired by other different types yeah. of music, you know. So we'll take a Latin rhythmic feel and we'll put that on a guitar riff you know what i mean yeah and it'll just be like and that's where the real the the musicality comes really in in full force for this band is is our idea of like taking every kind of music that we love and adore that we've heard our whole lives growing up here and incorporating it in our metal yeah. and our hardcore and in our, our post-punk or whatever we're, we're trying yeah. to do you know um as far as opaque goes, I'm actually glad you mentioned that song because it's ridiculous. <laughs> thank it's you, man. Ridiculous. I'm glad you dig it because it's. I was even like, we are gonna piss a lot yeah, of people off with this one, <laughs> and and I was gonna say that's the other part of of me and the band. It's just like you know what, bring the haters, yeah. bring it. We don't, we don't. I mean, if it's gonna get that far, you're not really a true fan of this band if you're not if you didn't strap in and just jump on for the entire ride. Yeah. If you're a fan of Surrealistic Madness and that's all you can listen to and that's the only candy you like, thank you very much. Love you for it. But we got other things to do. Yeah, we already things. made that record. We already made Beyond Reasonable Doubt. We made Processes of Development, 300% Test. We made these records already. We're not the type of band that's going to make the same record over and over again. We're never going to do that. Yeah. We will not. We'll break up because we will never be happy being that band. Yeah. Uh, we're, we, need to, we need to constantly change and constantly challenge ourselves and constantly challenge our listeners. Because you know? we want... You know, not only do we want our fans to just stick with us and trust us along the way, but we want to we want to meet new fans. We want to yeah. we want to you know broaden our horizons. We want to do what we want to do, and we want our fans to have faith in us and just trust what the hell we're doing. Yeah. Because you know what, this record, even if you even if our our biggest fans buy it and cannot stand it for five years, five years from, from now, now they like, may listen shit. to that record and be like. Because that's what the thing that that's the thing you have I have that that like dawned on me several years ago. It's like, wait a minute, you put a record out, it's out forever, forever, yeah, forever. You're giving it to the world forever, so it's gotta come from here. Yeah, it's gotta come from here. Everything has to come from inside out, and eventually, it will connect. It yeah. will connect to people. People will connect with it because if you're connecting yourself to the music and you're putting yourself into it. It's gonna. It's really gonna impact people, and that's the best chance you have, yeah. as opposed to trying to write some, you know, bastardized, bastardized version of, of some record we made twenty, you know, yeah, yeah, ten yeah. years ago. Fuck that, man. We love doing what Candiri does. We love writing sick riffs, dude. We yeah. love sick riffs. You know, there's never gonna. We are always gonna incorporate the Candiri sound in what we do. But we're also going to try other shit. Yeah. You know, you might hear some country on the next record. You may. And it's probably going to sound awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate <laughs> it. You see, and you, and you know, I, I, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me because that's the real, that's the true spirit of, of we, what we would like our, our true can, Candy Ear fans yeah. to, to, their attitude to be. Like, I trust you, man. I'm along for the ride. Fuck it. Yeah. Why not? You know? You haven't disappointed yet. So you Thank know. you, man. I appreciate that. I really do. Thanks. <laughs> well, I think it's interesting because obviously it's the first album in seven years. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of the younger fans that say bands that have been influenced you, like Animals of Leaders and stuff like that, mm -hmm. their younger generation may not even know who the hell you are. Right. So for this, this might be their first interpretation of the band. And for them to go back in the catalog, mm -hmm. they're just going to be like mind fucked. 
Well, but um, it is, it is like I said, it does have that Candiria sound though. Sure, sure. Yeah, and that's great. I, I, I you know, I mean, to me, it's like if they if they hear this band for the first time and this is the first record they hear and say they love it yeah. or say they even like it a lot. And that influences them to go back to process of self development or beyond reasonable doubt, and then they fall in love with the band. As they should. That they're, they're a Candiria, they're a Candiria fan, and and just as well for me. Yeah. Just as well for me and my <laughs> buddies. You know, like that's awesome. Yeah. Because you know our catalog, it still means everything to us. You yeah. know what I mean? Like Beyond, is I you know I I mean I won't say it's my favorite album, but it is one of my favorite albums that Candiria has ever put out. There was a very specific. Um, there was a there was a magic that was captured on that record. Yeah. Uh, like uh, um, sort of like a um, fuck it, we're gonna get fucking, we're just gonna do the craziest shit we can ever, we can possibly fucking imagine, and we're just gonna that's what we're gonna put out. And yeah. they did it, and it was like really received well, and some of the greatest Candyria songs we still play a lot. We still close with those songs. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So that's got to mean something, you know. Um, yeah, man. So. All of it's good. As All long as people good. are listening to our record or not this record, another record, and, and in this they like this record but they love that record, you know, we, we're 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 a career band, you know. We're yeah, not yeah. going anywhere, man. This is it. This is what we do. Thank God. You know, thank you, man. And also <laughs> you're touring the world next month. Yeah. With your buddies. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, does the rest of the world actually get to see you? Obviously, we're talking about the NYC tour, <laughs> but is there future touring in the works? Because obviously fans in other genre sure, areas sure. are begging. Yeah, I, Good, good, good question. I will, I will admit, my one of my, uh, I was a little apprehensive about calling it the Five Borough World Tour or whatever like that. But my my band members, you know, it they makes sense. they 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 reassured me like, look, dude. First of all, if we piss anybody off, fuck them. Yeah. You know, I mean, sorry if I'm using yeah, some fine. bad language here, but you know, screw them. You know, like they just don't understand. This is a concept album, and the concept takes place in in this world in yeah. New York City, Five Boroughs. This is where it happens. So um, that's the world we're really speaking about. And it's also our world. This is where we all grew up. We are all native New Yorkers, and this is our hometown. Yeah. Every member, even the new guys, they're all from here. So this is, this is really what that means to us. We want to, we want to, um, we, we would like to show our love to each borough for all the love we've received over the years. Yeah. And that's what this, this is about. That's why we're playing Alfie's. That doesn't even have a PA system. <laughs> we have to supply one in the Bronx. Um, and, and, but that's the point of this whole thing. But getting to your, 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 the bigger question, which is, are we going to hit the road and do, do more? Absolutely, man. Good. We're, gonna, we're probably going to be out in November. It's not 100% sealed. We haven't sealed a deal 100%. Yeah. But I'm pretty certain at this point I can say we're going to hit the Midwest and we're going to go up to Canada in mid-November. Uh, and then we come back. There's some things going on in the be beginning of December that we have to be here for. But we're gonna we're gonna support this album fully, man. We're nice. gonna go to Europe. We're gonna go to Japan. We're gonna go. We're gonna do all of the. You know, we're gonna do as much of the states as yeah. as the states will have us. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're doing it, man. We're doing it all the way, dude. Very totally. cool, man. Yeah, man. Well, we will let you go. We'll finish watching the softball game over here. Yes. But you guys, obviously, been out. You've been in the band since '97. The band's been around for many, many years, and you guys continue to drive. You've been through hell with the wreck. You have come back, and you, you know, you persevered. And this album's fucking beautiful. The one word to describe why you still do this and why you're still so goddamn good at it, what would it be? Uh, selfishness. Selfishness? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> no, um, passion. Passion. That's the word, not selfishness. That's a joke. Yeah. Um, when I say selfishness, I mean, you know, most of the music that most artists are cathartic. It's yeah, a, cath yeah. a cathartic process, man, you know? And that's really like what I think what most artists and musicians get. If you don't get money, if you don't make money, you get to put your fucking heart and soul out there for the world to appreciate. And you get to, it's, it's like therapy, man. Art and music for me, it's like therapy. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a really happy person. Why? Because I get to sing songs about my misery. And I get to fucking paint crazy pictures about my misery or fucking do some crazy concept album and get to rock the hell out and get yeah. that shit out of me. Wow. Um, but it really is. If I had one word to describe why I keep doing this, it's because there's an undying passion in me that, that just I'll never do anything else. Never. I don't think you're supposed to because what you do is fucking incredible. Thank you so Everybody much, Everybody in man. the band, you can tell. It's Thank just, you, man. Thank I love you. it, man. And I, 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 can, I can definitely speak for the rest of the guys in the band that that's, that's the reason we still do this. There's, a, there's an undying passion in all of us to just continue playing music and, and continue making art and cool records and concepts and this and that and being a part of cool shit. 
Fuck yeah, man. Thanks, That's man. fucking beautiful. Well, While they were sleeping. You. Thank you, October man. 7th on Metal Blade Records, the mighty Kandiria support them. <laughs>